So, you're opening ZBrush for the first time. This is what you're going to see. Let's start with this big old shelf here that grabs all the attention. This is called the Lightbox, and it contains default projects, tools, brushes, textures, and all sorts of other resources you can access. To close the Lightbox, just click this big Lightbox button up here, or the shortcut key, which is comma, to open and close. Next, we have the canvas or document. This is where you're going to see and edit your 3D model. At the very top, we have all of our different palettes or menus. They're in alphabetical order. Every single button you see in the rest of the UI is simply extracted from these menus. So these menus contain every single operation, option, and tool you can use. Next, we have the shelves. The shelves can be opened or closed using these double arrow buttons. On the side, and even on the bottom. In these shelves, you can add all of the menus and tools you wish to use. To add a palette to these shelves, all you have to do is open the palette up. Do you see this little circle icon with a little arrow? Simply grab that and drag it to where you wish to dock it. And it will be automatically docked. You can click on the name of a palette to open or close it to save space. To undock a palette, simply click one time on the circle icon. If you end up putting too many menus on one of the shelves, don't worry, you can simply scroll by clicking and dragging. There's another fun and quick way to dock any palette. All you have to do is select whatever button you'd like, and if you alt-click it, it will dock the associated palette into the shelf automatically. ZBrush makes sure that its UI is easily customizable for beginners to intermediate to advanced users. You can put any of your favorite tools anywhere you'd like for ease of access. You can even make it perfect for yourself if you're right-handed, left-handed, or have special requirements. In order to start customizing your UI, go to Preferences, Config, and turn on Enable Customize. And this will allow you to start dragging buttons around, docking them as you wish, and things like that. To move any button anywhere, simply Ctrl Alt click on the button and drag it to where you'd like for it to go. If the area you are dragging it to is valid, it will have a white box surrounding it. Like so. If you'd like to remove a button completely from your UI, press down Ctrl and Alt and drag it to the canvas, let go, and it will be removed. You can also do this with any button from inside of your palette. So Ctrl Alt, click one and drag. You can't add buttons to your shelves easily. To do so, you must create a new menu. To create a new menu, go to Preferences, Custom UI, and Create New Menu. It will allow you to name your menu, so I'm going to call this one Anna's Special Menu. Like that. And it will be added to the top bar. It actually gets added in alphabetical order. So here's my special menu. I can simply click and drag it and add it to my UI. Now I can take any button I'd like and add it to my menu. Did you know that you can also change all of the colors of the ZBrush UI? To do so, let's go to Preferences and Eye Color, and here you can find all of the default UI colors. To change one, simply select it, and you can click and drag and select any color from anywhere you'd like. Right here, if I even go to my color picker, I can have a lot more freedom. And you'll see that all the colors associated with that option are going to change automatically. You can also pre-select a color in your color picker and then click one time in your option and it will get set to that color. You can also use these two buttons here to load preset color variations. So load next user color palette, like so. Once you are happy with your new UI, go ahead and go to Preferences, Config, and turn off Enable Customize and it will be locked in and ready to be used. To save your UI, simply go to Save UI, right here, and you can also load up your UI at any point. A lot of professionals like to make multiple UIs for different types of work that they're doing in ZBrush. In order to make your current custom UI be the one that always loads up when you start ZBrush, simply click Store Config, and that will store the configurations. If you don't like what you created, 
feel free to hit Restore Custom UI or Restore Standard UI and everything will go back to normal. If you choose Restore Standard UI, you'll get the default ZBrush interface. But if you choose Restore Custom UI, you'll get the default custom UI you had loaded before you started changing everything. Here's my personal recommendation. While you are learning ZBrush, try to keep your UI default or as close to default as possible because it will help you follow along with tutorials which normally use the standard UI as well. Pro tip! If you hover over any function in ZBrush and hold down control on your keyboard, you'll actually be given a little bit of a hint of what it does and how it works.